Wouldn't it be cool if instead of reflectors right here that these were actually turn signals that blinked in unison with the turn signals on your Tesla? Yeah, well that's what I thought too. And that's why I picked up this set of turn signal replacement parts for the reflectors that are gonna go in right here on the bottom part of the bumper. So what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to remove the reflectors and installing the turn signals with the wiring harness and everything to get that in place uh, to have these start to flash alongside the turn signals, which is gonna be really cool. Obviously, it just adds a neat effect and a little bit more safety too, since it adds one more light source that people can see when you're braking and when you're signaling. Now, I got this kit off of Amazon. You guys can check for the link in the description below. And what I went with actually, instead of a red one, I went with the smoked out one, which is kind of cool. Again, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know I'm going for this blacked out look across my Tesla, black on black, everything. And so now that'll have a nice smoke look, but will signal uh, and light up red when there is braking. So I'm gonna get started by uh, taking things apart and then running the new wires through, but I guess I'll show you what's in the kit first. So you got one signal, two, uh, you got the wiring harness, and then you also have a little tool here that allows you to pop out uh, the reflectors and also some of the plastic paneling pieces. They gave you also a little instruction booklet here which is not super helpful, but at least it gives you a, a guide <laughs> of how things need to be plugged in, but it doesn't show you how you have to take things apart. So first things first, we're gonna move on to the inside of the car and start removing some paneling. So the first thing you do is you're gonna wedge this tool underneath to get the reflector to pop up. And I already got it moved a little bit. And you kind of just work your way down and the reflector will pop out, just like that. And it just actually clips in place here like this and the new piece will fit in just like that as well. And so before we put in uh, the new light, we actually have to pull back the trim here, or the weather stripping I should say, to expose this gap down here into the bumper and we're gonna feed the wire, we're gonna pull the wire up through here and it's actually gonna be stuffed between the weather stripping and then go into the back of the light here. So I'm gonna put the light wire through and then fish that wire up through there. Now to make this a little easier, I actually put a guide wire down through and then fished the new wire off the light through the middle part and then was able to tape them through here. So now I'm gonna pull ever so gently, pull the new wire up on through here and get that situated. Okay, so here's the new wire and just pulling it right on up. All right, so the next thing to do here is just to get the light positioned and popped in place. And there you go. So now it's a matter of getting the wire connected into the back of the light. So we've got a nice gap in between here where we can drop the wire uh, in between the weather stripping, but we have to get the light off. And we do that actually here by untwisting uh, this cap and then we will be able to pop the light off. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so with the side panel just you popped off, you just kind of get in here and just pop it off of its little uh, little pegs there. You can see like that guy goes in there and there's a, there's a big one down in here that goes across. With that popped off, now you can kind of reach your hand in here and you can unplug uh, the back of the tail light. And that's really all we have to get, it, get to is this plug here. And then we're gonna use this new harness that they supplied. Uh, that plug goes into here. This plug then goes into the back of the light and then the wires themselves then match color. These guys uh, get plugged into here like this. So I'm gonna get that all set up now. All right, so I put it all back together, or I plugged it all in, I should say, uh, inside, and I'm next I'm gonna put it all back together. But first, the turn signal test. Look at that. It's working. Okay, so we're good to go. 
wiring harness works now to button this all back up and then repeat on this side. Okay, so I've got the flashers going and gotta say, they look pretty cool. Add that extra little layer of safety when driving, a little bit better than reflectors. So we're all set here, pretty easy install. Um, just a little elbow grease and you gotta be really careful when move, removing those plastic parts so you don't break anything. But uh, overall, I'd say that's a pretty cool setup. Now I'm gonna close the back here and then we will call this project done.